Right, well, it's a rainy, it's a rainy day. So we better go out for a walk, but it's sort of sprinkling, it hasn't really stopped. We've come out here and there's some things going on. There's caravans all over the field here. So we'll investigate this and see what's going on. We'll go up here a little bit, but you can see them all in there. And there's a pavilion set up in there. And there's something going on up in the road ahead as well that we need to investigate. Well, she's just stopped me and bailed me up and told me to stop doing what I'm doing, but uh, I'm not doing anything. Right, right what's going on here? Flyball. It's what? Flyball. Say that again? Flyball. Flyball, is that some kind of sport? Yeah. You're joking. No, it's a four-way relay race with four dogs. Look at the mud. Oh, I know. Tell us. That's why we got Deary me. <laughs> How did they get in through here? Yeah. Boy, look at that. So what are they... What are they... Right, see where the ring is here? Where all those jumps are? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, from where the gazebo is, yeah. there's a set of lights. There'll be a set of lights there tomorrow. And then it's a 51-foot course from the lights down to a box, which will be where there's pieces are at the end yeah the dog goes down for dogs dogs oh, it's for dogs right now now i'm yeah. getting a clearer picture of what <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. oh yeah takes a ball from the box comes back does the next dog goes you fancy that now i understand it's some a dog, dog event what, what a shame it's uh oh, yeah i think we will have dry weather tomorrow well it hasn't it hasn't start. been too bad <laughs> until today. Of course. It's bank holiday. Well that was Phil, he's just got in his car, he's got to pull some of that out of the mud. But it's a, it's called flyball and it's dogs competing with each other on like a time trial. So we'll come here tomorrow and, uh, and have a look and watch the dogs compete and I'll meet up with Phil and he'll give me the poop. Not the dog poop, but the square deal poop. And look at the day, oh boy. This is England, England. Drizzling, miserable, grey and foreboding. It's perfect. This woman is running around like a chook with her head chopped off trying to stop all these vehicles from coming in. They're trying to put them in here now on the hard surface until tomorrow. This is chaotic. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Come and join us. Good luck. Glad to see you. Are they betting on the dogs? Right then, well, Here's this thing I was going to go and see, it's called Flyball, some dog competition. Over in the field there, there's over a hundred caravans in there. I was going to, well, I might get back in time to have a look. But I've just found out there's a ride on starting at Halfords in Market Harbour. And it will says meet there in eight minutes. Hopefully they fiddle around for about 10 or 15 waiting for everybody. And there it is, there's the dog show. Oh, I hope they're not selling tickets, I can just walk in and have a look. And hopefully it's on tomorrow as well. Shh, just be quiet. So, surely they haven't come all this way for one day. The final day tomorrow. I had it after this ride, it was exhausting. The bluegrass fellows turning up on the 18th of May. So let's just go in here and see if we can't catch a bit of flyball and find out what flyball is. Even better, emergency services are here. This is my mate. 
And God bless you, sir, for all your work. All right, see, chap. Village Bloody Hall. Oh, you're a busy body, Taylor. Nothing, they're doing nothing, but I'm going through this way. Oh, that would be where they get their prizes, wouldn't it? Yes, thank you. Am I what? Am I, am I what? Can I help you? No. No, don't need any help. She's a busybody. Um, no fish of it can't just power spun to bed. So they've camped out here for two days. It was raining when they got here. Very muddy. Now apparently there's teams. There's the maroon team, there's the blue team, there's the green team. It's very exciting. Hey. This is catching my leg, I doubt it. Looks like she's 60 pounds rigging wet. I wouldn't ask her to lift anything. So they're making marks. Ready, but it's not actually happening at the moment. If you can find Phil, we'll find out what the rules are. You see, all these people have turned up today. They must be locals because they weren't here last evening when I was here. They were sort of camping from this point onward. Your little kiosks there, as usual for any event like this. If we can find Phil, I can get him to explain the rules. You can see here that hopefully they're getting ready to go. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but they're getting ready to do whatever it is. The officials are positioned, have they positioned them here? The judges, best in show. It's like some kind of time trial. Sorry? Oh, there are children. God help us. I tell you what, I'm never turning the camera off again when I get into confrontations with these people. I might not point them at them, but I'm just going to keep it by my side and record the conversation. Because this woman just kept having a go at me. I turned the camera off straight away, as you saw. And she was that bad, I just turned the camera on again to record what she was saying, so we just caught the end of it just so rude and 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 a bully an absolute bully go back and count the number of children you saw in the video like it's absurd so i turned the camera back on just to record what she said and then she accused she said i threatened her you heard what i said the one thing you can't do with these people is ask them why i, I said why and she swore at me she threatened me. She accused me of being a pedophile look, looking f to film children. And then she said I threatened her. She played that card as well. I mean, just, it's just ridiculous. So just listen to this last bit when I started recording it, just to get the tail end of the conversation. Well, you know what they say, give a fat woman a uniform and she'll march into Poland. You won't be able to stop her. She would scare a bulldog out of a butcher's shop. Well, it's off. Thank you. Well, can I watch, or is that no, dangerous that's as well? Fine. And it's oh, okay to watch. Of course it is. All right, well, you have my word as a gentleman that I would do any more filming. That I would do any more filming. Don't be aggressive. No need for that. You are. You're pulling the aggression card, so you've hit me with the child card. No, you're doing this in my face. I don't want now that. Now you're hitting me with the aggression card. Because you're doing you're pushing, pushing your hand into my You're going to have a Hamas card. You want to hit me with a Hamas card or the LGBT? So you're being ass again. All right then. Okay, thank you.
Well, well, well. I won't be staying here to watch fly ball, that's for sure. What an ass she is. Deary me. Well, wow, what a, that, now that is your typical fat Karen, hey? A living example of it. Everyone, oh, she's pulling the cards, the children, you, the children aren't safe and, and, uh, I mean, you're threatening me, you know? As I said, well, Hamas is next and the LGBTQI plus. Boy, oh boy, this is a problem. This is the people that we need protection from, people like her. Not innocent video loggers like myself. Anyway, well, that's a disaster. So that'll, that'll probably come up on the channel as no fly ball for me. Mm, I shouldn't have turned it off. I should have got the whole conversation. Oh, she's just like the safety of the children. Well, 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 who's endangering them? Is it you? Are you the one? I know I'm not endangering the children. So who, who are you protecting the children from? Anyway, that's the end of that. So it's off to, uh, it's off to the next fair and see if I get kicked out of that one. Right, okay, here we go. So I've been given a bum's rush from the fly ball by two Karens. I had an initial little Karen attack and then they leveled up on me and I got the bigger boss and I got the big Karen. Just unbelievable. So I just got basically bullied off the property, you know, you know, who cares? I mean, that's the way you want to be. No one's going to look at your sport if you're going to get throw everyone out that turns up. Nevertheless, let's see if I can stay in the Everton picnic, uh, the village picnic at Everton. We'll see if I can stay there without being escorted away. So we're looking for Cold Ashby, which is this way. Down here. Yeah, so that's it. I got, got my marching orders and the fly ball. Well, I left actually of my own accord, but boy, you know, I didn't want to stay there after being accused of being a pedophile filming the children right okay so this is it I will see you at Byfield